Hello, we are the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. On Wednesday, SpaceX successfully launched their 13th mission of the year with the launch of USS F-124. One, ignition and lift off. Go Falcon, go 124. The boost which launched this mission, B-1078, then landed successfully for the seventh time on the landing pad at Landing Zone 2. Stage 1 landing burn. Stage 2 is a thermal guidance. Super cool views of Landing Zone 2 approaching quick. Stage 1 landing light deploy. Then, a few hours later on Thursday, SpaceX successfully launched their 14th mission of the year with the launch of IM-1. One, ignition, and liftoff. Go SpaceX, go IM-1 and the Odysseus lunar lander. The boost which launched this mission, B-1060, then landed successfully for the 18th time on the landing pad at Landing Zone 1. And a great view there. Later in the day on Thursday, SpaceX also successfully launched their 15th mission of the year with the launch of Starlink 714. One, ignition, and lift off of Falcon 9. Go Starlink, go SpaceX. The boost which launched this mission, B-1082, then landed successfully for the second time on the drone ship Of Course I Still Love You. This coming week, we can hopefully expect some more Falcon 9 launches. The next launch, HTS-113BT, is currently scheduled for Tuesday 20th at 8.11pm UTC or 3.11pm EST. Then, we can hopefully expect to see another Starlink launch later in the week. The Starlink 715 mission is currently scheduled for Thursday 22nd at 4.24am UTC or Wednesday 21st at 11.24pm EST. A couple of days later and we can hopefully expect to see yet another Starlink launch. The Starlink 639 mission is currently scheduled for Saturday 24th at 11pm UTC or 6pm EST. Prior to the launches that happened during the week, SpaceX posted some cool pictures. They said four SpaceX rockets vertical on SpaceX's four launch pads in Florida, California and Texas. SpaceX posted some interesting information about the IM-1 lunar lander payload. They said launch of the IM-1 lander required SpaceX teams to design a new fueling system and procedures to load the lander with liquid methane and oxygen while encapsulating it in a Falcon 9 fairing. They added to this posting this is a first for using methane on a Falcon 9 so the Falcon team was able to lean on the Starship team's expertise in this area to prepare for this mission. NASA posted some information about when we can expect to see the Crew-8 mission. They said NASA and SpaceX teams have adjusted the launch date for the Crew-8 mission to no earlier than Friday March 1st at 12.04am Eastern Time. Heading to Boca Chica, here's a view of the launch site with the full stack. SpaceX recently performed a water deluge test amongst other testing. Work is continuing to progress pretty rapidly with the Launch Tower 2 section. Progress is also happening with the work on expanding Star Factory. I wanted to share this post by RGV Aerial Photography with an old picture of the build site way before it was Starbase. It says throwback to the build site from 5 years ago. There was an interesting Reddit post about some news related to another possible Starship launch pad. It says US Space Force is starting an environmental review for SpaceX flying Starship from Slick 37 ULA will give it up after last Delta IV heavy launch in March EIS expects to take two years. There was some exciting information posted related to the next Starship launch. It says SpaceX has submitted the IFT-2 mishap investigation and a request to modify Flight Free's license. Work was seen going on around the quick disconnect as they prepared for a wet dress rehearsal. Work continues on Ship 30 and Ship 31 in the high bay. Crews were seen working around Booster 10's hot staging ring. 
SpaceX attempted a wet dress rehearsal during the week but aborted it. SpaceX also attempted a second wet dress rehearsal but this one was aborted as well. To finish up the video today we'll take a little look at the Cameron County website. There is still a possible closure for Tuesday 20th. SpaceX also have a temporary road closure scheduled for the same date Tuesday 20th. As always I have to say thanks to both Mary otherwise known as Boca Chica Gal and Sean Doherty for being out there filming the Starbase content. Also thanks to the NASA spaceflight team working behind the scenes on their videos, live streams and other space content. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX show, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.